the acute kidney injury. So acute renal failure is acute renal excretory dysfunction syndrome manifested by the hyperhidratation, dyselectrolytemia, acid-base balance and azotemia. But in the 2002, the arrival time criteria were, were proposed to the determine acute kidney injury and its stages. The abbreviation RIFLE stands for three gradations of acute kidney injury on the increasing severity of acute renal dysfunction. Uh, R it is risk, I it is injury, F it is failure, uh, R, I and F it is respectively. Based on the assessment of the dynamic changes in the serum creatinine levels and two criteria loss and end stage renal disease, ESRD. L and E, respectively, based on the assessment of the duration of renal function loss. The term loss describes the presence of the persistent renal failure for the more than four weeks and end eight stage uh, renal disease described persistent renal failure for more than three months. In 2005, the AKIN, Acute Kidney Injury Network International Consortium Working Group proposed using the term acute kidney injury uh, a key instead of acute renal failure to reflect the full spectrum of acute renal dysfunction. In recent years, the term a key has been used to refer to any spectrum of acute renal dysfunction and is considered more appropriate to refer to the syndrome formerly referred to as acute renal failure. The purpose of the of this change in terminology is to emphasize. Emph emphasize uh, the border range of clinical and laboratory man manifestations and in IK then uh, previously de uh, designated uh, acute renal failure. The Akin Working Group in 2005 defined AK as reduced renal function with no more than a 48-hour increase in absolute serum creatinine of uh, 0.3 mg to deciliter or 25 uh, micromole to the liter or more and 50% uh, or greater relative increase in serum creatinine or documented oliguria of less than uh, 0.5 ml by the kilogram to the hour for more than 6 hours despite the adequate fluid re um, replenishment. The wording of the diagnosis uh, looks like these three samples. For example, first one, the bilateral polysegmental pneumonia, sepsis, severe acute kidney injury of first stage according to the Akin. The second one is urolithiasis, stone in the upper third of the ureter of the left kidney, urethrohydronephrosis on the left side, acute kidney injury of the second stage according to the Akin. And third one is poisoning by alcohol surrogates, general hypothermia, acute kidney injury of the third stage according to the Akin. The frequency of the acute kidney injury occurrence. So in this uh, graphic we can see that uh, we have uh, the most uh, detectable uh, state of the acute kidney injury, not in the urologist and nephrologist, uh, but uh, more often uh, there are uh, the GPs, doctors, uh, who uh, make the uh, correct diagnosis of the acute uh, kidney injury and work with these patients more often than others. Then next one are surgeons, next one there are toxicologists, uh, the obstetricians and gynecologists, and urologists and nephrologists only 5% and 3%, and the other are 2%. So the frequency of the occurrence of the acute kidney injury are uh, from the 100 up to the 250 persons uh, by the million in the year. The rate of the glomerular fil filtration is determined by the three factors. Uh, first one is the balance of the pressure acting on the capillary wall, the blood flow speed in the capillaries, uh, the permeability and total surface area of uh, functioning capillaries, uh, the vulner vulnerability of the apparatus. So we can see here the apparatus of the uh, nephron. It is the structural uh, unit of the uh, kidney nephric tissue. So uh, if we have the problems with this apparatus uh, on this side or on this side or on this side, we will have the problems with the renal function uh, with loosement uh, during the loosens of the uh, working nephrons. So decreased, uh, decreased uh, GFR is seen in the uh, situation when we have the decreased uh, hydrostatic pressure in the capillaries, like hypotension shock, increased hydro hydrostatic pressure in the tubules, including Bowman space urinary tract obstruction, 
uh, can make this uh, the increase to the significant plasma oncotic pressures uh, due to the dehydrations with the uh, gamma concentration or dysproteinemia and uh, slowed renal plasma and blood flow in heart failure and uh, decreasing of the penetration and decreasing of the total filtering surface uh, in the situation with the chronic renal failure. There is groups for the development of the acute kidney injury. Uh, the first one is age uh, in newborns, people over 60 years. The metabolic diseases uh, like gout, diabetes mellitus, generalized uh, atherosclerosis. The gemodynamic, uh, like the chronic cardiac insufficiency or cirrhosis of the liver. The toxic, uh, like alcoholism or drug abuse. Traumatic, like multiply trauma, massive burns, heart and vascular surgery. Renal, like a late toxicosis in the pregnant woman, obstructive kidney disease or nephrotic syndrome. And uh, the next one is chronic renal failure. The pathophysiology of the acute kidney injury. So uh, the first one will be acute ischemia, reduced circulating blood volume, congestive heart failure. Then uh, the uh, become the repeated episodes of the ischemia, and uh, then uh, will be the acute toxemia and with uh, danger and the genos and the exogenos. So the acute ischemia reduced circulating uh, the blood volume and congestive heart failure will make the reduced hydrostatic pressure and blood flow velocity. This uh, is making the forming of the vis uh, vestigial circle of low uh, blood flow and then makes the necrosis of the tubal cells impaired and regeneration and also the ductal obstruction, decreased glomerular filtration and reabsorption and reduced tubular current and tubular damage, which also, which also make the necrosis of the tubal cells impair the rege regeneration. Classification of the acute kidney injury. So acute kidney uh, failure or acute uh, kidney injury uh, have the prerenal causes, interstitic renal causes and postrenal causes. So interstitic causes uh, can have the acute tubular necrosis, which makes the ischemia in 50% of the cases. Uh, the interstitic renal causes also can make the acute interstitial uh, nephritis in 10% of the cases. Also acute tubular necrosis can uh, have make the toxins, uh, which are seen in the 35% of the cases. And also the interstitic renal causes can make the acute glomerular nephritis uh, in the fifth persons of the cases. The classification of acute kidney injury. Uh, the first one will be prerenal or gemodynamic, caused by acute impairment of the renal blood supply in 70%, uh, drought, uh, for example, cardiogenic shock, congestive uh, chronic heart failure, precardial tamponade, uh, pulmonary embolism, severe arrhythmias. The pathologic disease of the vascular tonus, like anaphylaxis, uh, bacteremic shock, overdose of the hypertensive drugs, uh, drought of the effective output, like blood plasma loss, uh, profuse diarrhea, vomiting, polyuria, and impaired inter intrarenal gemodynamics. Uh, second one will be renal or parhematose, uh, is due to the damage of the renal parenchyma in 25%. Can be uh, the acute canal necrosis like ischemic, nephrotoxic, drug induced, intracanal necrosion like by the crystals, pathological cylinders and pigments, in crush syndrome, non traumatic rhabdomyolysis, the acute double interstitial nephritis like drug induced infections, cortical necrosis in acute sepsis, anaphylaxic shock, obstetric. Acute pyelonephritis necrotizing papillitis, glomerulonephritis uh, with the acute form, renal vascular damage, traumatic or immunoinflammatory. And also the postrenal obstructive uh, develops on uh, due to an acute outflow obstruction in 5%. Can be due to the urethral involvement like obstruction by stone, blood clot, necrotic papillitis, compression uh, by the tumor or retro retroperitoneal fibrosis. The bladder damage by the stones, tumor, inflammatory obstruction, prostatic adenoma, bladder inter innervation disorders and uh, schistosomosis and urethral stricture. It must be uh, remembered that the most common case uh, in, uh, is the mixed nature of the acute kidney injury. The tasks for examining a person with the acute kidney injury 
length in the determine of the nature of the acute kidney injury like prerenal, renal, postrenal to identify the underlying cause of the acute kidney injury and identify ways to eliminate factors leading to the acute kidney injury, decide on emergency initiation of the replacement therapy within the first uh, two or four hours uh, and make a prognosis about the return of the renal function. The differential diagnosis of the acute kidney injury according to the pathogenesis of the acute kidney injury. So the indicators will be the relative density of urine. In prerenal it will be increased uh, more than 1030. In the renal will be decreased um, less than 1020. Urine changes, uh, the protein cylinders will be plus one or plus one two of the renal epithelium. Urine osmolarity more than uh, 400 uh, le and uh, in renal less than th 350. So we will have the uh, decreasement of the uh, creatinine more than 30 and less than uh, 20 in the uh, urine and uh, then the creatinine plasma will be more than 10 in and less than 10 uh, in the renal. Uh, potassium in urine will be less than 30 and more than 30 in the renal. Uh, so, and other also inst instabilities you we can see uh, how it is different between the prerenal and renal acute kidney injury. So, differential diagnosis of the renal acute in kidney injury and chronic renal failure. So, uh, the signs of the renal uh, acute kidney injury and chronic renal failure. Diuresis, oligouria, anuria will be in renal. Uh, in chronic renal failure, usually polyuria. The color of urine uh, in renal acute kidney injury will be with microgematuria or normal, and uh, chronic renal failure will be without color at all. Hypertension will be uh, in the 30% uh, moderate, no retinopathy or uh, left ventricular hypertrophy in the renal acute kidney injury. And in chronic renal failure will be severe in 95% with the retinopathy and, uh, or uh, left ventricular hypertrophy. Uh, edema will be developing very quickly in renal acute kidney injury and not typical for the chronic renal failure. The kidney size normal or increased in renal acute kidney injury and reduced in the chronic renal failure with atrophy signs. The increasing of the uh, creatinine level uh, will be uh, more than uh, 400 uh, uh, moles uh, to the liter uh, per uh, day and uh, also uh, in the chronic renal failure will be sl slowly increased. The kidney anemesis uh, not a viable in the renal acute kidney injury and uh, with the presence of uh, prolonged uh, infections or stone disease or something else in the chronic renal failure and uh, stigma seromia without uh, in the acute uh, renal injury and uh, will be anemia uh, and osteopathy and dystrophy of the kidneys in the chronic renal failure. So options for the course of the acute kidney injury. The cyclic is the most characteristic reversible course of the acute kidney injury in which an initial oligo or anuric and uh, a recovering polyuric stage are distinguished. Uh, characteristic of the acute kidney injury, uh, uh, acute tubular necrosis and prerenal acute kidney injury. Recidiving, uh, the typical in the chronic obstructive renal diseases like nephrolytiasis, gout, necrotizing papillitis, uh, less common in the Burgess disease, hemolytic anemia, cryoglobulinemia and thromboebolism. Anuria is the characteristic of the rapidly progressing glomerular nephritis, gamolytic uremic syndrome, malignant hypertension, total papillary necrosis, and other. Anuria lasts for the more than four weeks. Clinical phase of the acute kidney injury. So, uh, it will be prodromal uh, from one up to the five days, oligoanuric from one day uh, from one week up to the three weeks, uh, polyuric from the two up to the six weeks and recovery from the two months up to the six months. The prodromal stage corresponds to a variety of causes of acute kidney injury by the shock, sepsis, intoxication, action of the nephrotoxic substances, decrease of the blood pressure, uh, hypovolemia, decrease of the body temperature in sepsis, increase of this temperature, di dehydration, dirtiness of the skin, decrease of skin turgor, uh, pallor cyanosis, possible uh, jaundice, uh, CV, uh, CVD will be less than 50 milliliters uh, by the H2O, uh, change in the heart rate, uh, bradyarrhythmia or tachycardia.
Oligon weak stage. Uh, the, uh, first one, the hypergid rotation, increased blood pressure or CVP, central venous pressure, uh, external and internal organ cavity or edema. Uh, then as isotemia assesses the severity of acute kidney injury, so degree of severity can be the moderate, significant and ultimate. Duration of the anuria uh, in the moderate less than 5 days, uh, urea increase less than 3 will be. The significant uh, duration of the anuria from the 5 up to the 8 days and the increase of the urea in 3 or 7 times. And ultimate more than 8 days uh, anuria duration and uh, the urea increase will be in the 7 times. Uh, the anemia with the hypercoagulation, metabolic acidosis is the main type of the uh, uh, of Так, kidney disorders, uh, dieselectrolytemia, like hyper, hyperkalemia, hypermagnesemia, hyperphosphatemia, hypocalciemia, hyponatremia, hypochloremia, uh, before alkalosis. The polyuric state, the on stage, the onset is the rapid and lasts for the two up to the six weeks. There is a response of the diuretics, increased diuresis uh, from the three up to the 5 liters per day or more, or edema re uh, receding, and reduction of the uremic toxins. Hypogydrotation, hypoosmolarity of the blood, metabolic alkalosis. Uh, reparative stage lasts from the 2 up to the 6 months. Gradual recovery of renal function. Uh, Renberg or uh, Zinitsky test will show it in uh, uh, half of the patients. Uh, treatment of the prerenal uh, acute kidney injury. The treatment of the prerenal acute kidney injury, XU ventibus, uh, lays in the stabilization of the water electrolyte balance, regidrotation, recovery of the potassium chlor loss, uh, blood pressure stabilization, anti-shock measures, dopamine uh, usements by these measures, uh, furosemid uh, intravenous at one hour intervals with the increasing dosages from uh, of the 2 or 5 and or 10 milligrams by kilogram administered factionally every 15-20 minutes until diuresis is uh, uh, 20 or 25 milliliters per hour will be seen or 1 liter per day. Manitol uh, 20% uh, or uh, 25, uh, 250 milliliters uh, two times a day to add uh, with adding of the furosemid and the clinical effect of the other drug groups have not been proven. So we use all these uh, which are the standard uh, measures uh, to get better state of the patient due to the prerenal acute kidney injury. Uh, the uh, treatment of the acute kidney injury uh, also includes the emergency admission of the uh, to intensive care ward because the patient's uh, state will be severe diet with enteral or and parenteral protein about 0 0.5 uh, up to the 1.0 grams to the kilogram per day uh, then uh, 40 up to the 90 uh, kilocalories uh, to the kilogram per day the correction of the water electrolyte balance uh, with fluid intake uh, uh, according to the diuresis in liters per day, uh, plus other losses, plus uh, 0 0.5 liters of the potassium chloride intake, uh, which is uh, uh, divided to the uh, 3 up to the 5 grams per day. The hydration with the sorbitol of the 70% uh, with uh, 2 milligrams to the kilogram per os, uh, per rectum uh, with the installations of the 20%, uh, the 10 milliliters by the kilogram with removing up to the 5 liters of the fluid per day and infection control, the sepsis treatment regimens. Uh, the treatment uh, of the acute kidney injury also includes the correction of the hyperkalemia, the decreasement of the calcium intake, uh, then uh, the application of the calcium antagonists, uh, then the blood uh, uh, calcium uh, plus elimination, uh, stimulation of the cellular calcium entry, uh, the binding of the calcium to the liver via stimulation of the gluconeogenesis and increased uh, calcium excretion uh, with dosages of the furosemid manitol and increased elimination of the calcium through, uh, through the gastrointestinal tract by the sorbents ion exchange resins. Uh, the correction of the metabolic acidosis also should be uh, by this formula which is the required volume uh, of the 4% of the nat natrium uh, potassium bicarbonate administered intravenously at the 60 
or 80 uh, drops per minute, correcting anemia, uh, reaching the hemoglobin about 100, and hemorrhage control, and extracorporeal uh, hemoglobin correction. Indications for initiation extracorporeal uh, extracorporeal gamma correction. So there are preventive treatment for severe lesions as soon as possible, uh, two up to the four hours after the excess uh, in vitro pulmonary edema, uh, which will be the creatinine uh, more than 0 0.8 uh, millimoles to the liter, urea uh, more than 30, and calium uh, more than 6.5. The principles of the acute extra extracorporeal gamma correction. So daily treatments, treatments time uh, at least two hours, perfusion rate of uh, 150 up to the 200 milliliters per minute. Uh, uh, the URR volume, not more than 5% uh, of the body weight, URR uh, less than 40%, individual buffer profiling, and uh, that's not all. If uh, the leading syndrome is uh, dyselectrolytemia, general condition stable in isolated acute kidney injury, acute kidney injury developed against the background of the chronic renal failure, and extracorporeal gamocration can be performed intermittently. Uh, if uh, the leading syndrome is the hyperhydration, and there is the hemodynamic instability, uh, like acute myocardial infarction or cardiac surgery, there is the septic condition. Extracorporeal gamocorrection should be performed in prolonged mode. Indications for the acute peritoneal dialysis will be the severe trauma, coagulopathy, other risk of the bleeding, vascular access problems, the need of the extreme uh, um, intravenous uh, toxin, uh, needs for continuous transfusion, hemodynamic disturbance, early and old age. Contraindications for acute peritoneal dialysis will be the conditions following abdominal surgery, respiratory failure, hyperkalemia, pregnancy, hernia, reflux disease, uh, peloperitoneal communication, and severe obesity. The complications of the acute kidney injury are cardiac disorders like arterial hypertension, cardiac tamponade, CNS disorders like cerebral oedema, uh, Scherzner's coma, gastrointestinal disorders like anorexia, vomitings, and erosions, blood disorders like anemia, thrombocytopenia, respiratory disorders like hyperventilation, central arrest, and septic complications. The results of the acute kidney injury, the multifactorial prognostic formulas do not work, have an adverse effect of the prognosis, uh, like the sepsis, CNS lesions, pulmonary failure, especially a combination of the two, uh, recovery from the acute kidney injury, in injuries is about 30%, poisoning 30%, therapeutic acute kidney injury 50%, and rhabdomyolysis 90%. Uh, the half complete recovery and half uh, will be the chronic renal failure after the two years. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next cycle.